today we'll be learning about liver segments based on new coinart classification and we'll see how the segments look on ultrasound and ct my name is dr aishwarya to begin with we'll see how the liver was divided into right and left segments prior to coinart classification this ivc behind the liver and along the line of ivc there is attachment of falciform ligament here is the gall bladder and left side of this falciform ligament was left lobe and then the right side was right lobe now the classification is obsolete and we use coinart classification in which a line is drawn along the middle hepatic vein which comes from ivc which divides liver into left and right lobe respectively based on the sides from middle hepatic vein okay now we'll see the segments so each lobe of liver is divided into four segments first we'll see how the segments are divided later we'll see the labeling how the segments are labeled now ivc gives right hepatic vein middle hepatic vein and left hepatic vein and according to middle hepatic vein right and left lobes of liver are divided next the portal vein divides into right and left branch and at the plane of division of portal vein liver is divided into superior and inferior segments the segments are labeled clockwise so here we start from segment 2 3 4a is the superior segment 4b is the inferior segments now this four segments consist of left lobe of liver right lobe of liver also has four segments segment 5 6 7 and 8 in clockwise direction so these four segments constitute right lobe of liver coming to left lobe segments they divided as superior segments that is 2 and 4a and inferior segments that is 3 and 4b whereas right lobe segments are divided into anterior segments that is 5 and 8 posterior segment that is 6 and 7 and as i told the clockwise labeling of the segments has been done let's revise once more left lobe has superior segments segment 2 and 4a inferior segment segment 3 and 4b right lobe has anterior segment 5 and 8 and posterior segment 6 and 7 you can save this image the only segment missing here is the caudate lobe which is also labeled as segment 1 which we will be seeing now so caudate lobe comes somewhere here along the inferior surface of liver it comes almost along the middle hepatic vein and is directly draining into ivc and not drained by any of these three hepatic veins on ultrasound we keep the probe obliquely in the right subchondral region and swipe we can see three hepatic veins which are joining the ivc and portal vein is seen here segments on ultrasound first we have to identify ivc and the three hepatic veins so in this plane we can also see portal vein separately from the three hepatic veins this section is obtained once we keep the probe in right hypochondrium tilted towards the right shoulder of the patient obliquely and towards upward direction following the same conditions if we tilt the probe a little lower down towards the patient little downwards we get this section where we can see portal vein dividing into right and left gall bladder and here we can divide into superior segments and sweep down to get the inferior segments of liver using these two standard sections above portal vein we can see segment 2 4a 8 and 7 and 8 is anterior towards the probe 7 is posterior away from the probe that is near the diaphragm now here we can see hyperechoic pleura also below portal vein sections we can see segment 3 4b 
5 and 6 5 is anterior so closer to the probe 6 is posterior so it is away from the probe so try to get these two sections to divide segments on ultrasound in CT we can see IVC emerging from right atrium so trace the IVC downwards in order to see convergence of three hepatic veins into IVC here after the diaphragm ends we can see the liver starting as we move down we can see right hepatic vein middle hepatic vein and left hepatic vein which will be draining into IVC so along the middle hepatic vein we trace downwards to divide the liver into right and left so we are in the sections above the portal vein we can see segment 2 4 a 8 and 7 8 is anterior 7 is posterior so we have to move down where we can see portal vein dividing the liver into superior segments and inferior segments so now we are moving more down below the portal vein so section of the liver below the portal vein shows segment 3 4b 5 and 6 Again, 5 is the anterior segment, 6 is the posterior segment of right lobe. Now that we have seen how to identify segments on ultrasound and CT, how to apply it in radiological anatomy, we apply it during the liver transplantation to see the planes of resection. There is a video of ours, you can see it. It's also used in tumor resection purposes. So for more such videos, please follow our page Radiology Doodles on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you.